Queen Consort Camilla and King Charles have been the victims of the same abuse which was in part to blame for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle leaving the royal family, a royal expert has stated. Express.co.uk's royal correspondent Richard Palmer explained on this week's Royal Roundup how people had attacked and criticized the King and Queen consort ever since their relationship became public. All family members have been the victims of online abuse on social media, with Harry and Meghan taking steps to gather information on the perpetrators. Speaking to Pandora Forsyth, Mr. Palmer said, I think this needs to be called out, the social media companies need to do more about it, they need to end anonymity for a start. This is where I do think the Sussexes had a point, they got this guy Christopher Boozy to do some analysis and found that it was a small number of accounts that were abusing them, but amplifying it so much. We see the same thing on the other side as well, we see their porters including some people who they've thanked for their support vehemently abusing the king, the queen consort, the prince and princess of Wales and other members of the family. When asked how Charles and Camilla handle criticism, Mr. Palmer responded, Obviously they're used to it, the story about Camilla having bread rolls thrown at her back in the 1990s in a supermarket I think is fiction, it come round every now and again. At that time she was an extremely unpopular person, she and the then Prince Charles were blamed by a lot of people for the death of Princess Diana. They got used to it and they do have the luxury, unlike politicians and musicians and actors who are in the public spotlight of knowing they're in it for the long haul. They can always take the view that, we're unpopular in the soap opera at the moment but further down the line we've got time to make amends. He added that Charles and Camilla tend not to look at the press coverage of them, although they will be given newspaper cuttings. In a Daily Express poll, 60.7% of respondents thought the royal family handled criticism well, while 39.3% did not. Several nasty comments were directed at Camilla this week after it was revealed she had tested positive for COVID. However despite this the Queen Consort has seen a recent rise in popularity. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle want to recover from South Park episode, latest King launches new coronation tipple ahead of historic event, spotlight Diana's letters detailing nightmare divorce sell for £161,000, report, the people polling, conducted by GB News, asked whether members of the public have a favourable or unfavourable view of Camilla. According to the poll 33% gave a positive answer, while 30% were not in favor of her. Polling expert Professor Matt Goodwin said, these numbers will be a relief in Buckingham Palace. We find that, overall, Camilla has a positive net rating among the British public, which underlines what a long way she has come in the public mindset since the 1990s. This is especially the case among older voters who are far more supportive than the younger voters from Gen Z.